Okay guys, hold on for a sec. We received a complete new recoil in Escape from Tarkov and let me tell you guys, this recoil system now is completely broken. Is it good? Is it bad? And why? That's the topic of today's video. Let's go guys. Dear comrades, I am German is back. Glad to have you here and let's start directly in today's video about the recoil in Escape from Tarkov. Like mentioned, we received a complete new recoil system for all new weapons and I will show you some examples during live raids how those weapons those early weapons perform and why is it good or maybe bad or maybe both so first things first why is it good right now every weapon seems viable and the reason for that is quite simple you start fresh wipe and you have basically nothing. You can pick your M4, you can pick your MP5, you can pick your AK, or you can kill a scaf, pick his damaged, badly repaired AK, and let's go. And it's still a good gun. SKS, Weapa, all that kind of stuff are good weapons now. Why? Because they changed your recoil system. You can still use good ammo in kinda quote unquote bad weapons, and they're still good because you can basically hit something. So what you can do right now, grab a pistol, try to kill a scaf with a full auto AK with some PS rounds and it's still a good gun. So you can win early on quite decent gunfights. So the result out of this is you don't have to try hard 24 7, 8 hours a day to finally get a mediocre kit to kill a sweaty tryhard who played nothing else than Tarkov, has no job or anything else or just invests a lot of time and enjoys Tarkov and you're st you are basically starting fresh to the wipe, don't have anything and you have no chance at all. It's a little bit different right now because your kit that you can find on the ground is basically good or your starting kit, basic M4 with 8.55 is not as bad as it was anymore. Also, you can play your favorite weapons, your favorite kits, your favorite loadouts right now. You can have a little bit more fun. You don't have to play all the meta builds. Of course we have, and of course we will always have a meta, but right now it's a little bit more widespread. And you can go out and play a block M4, for example. Pretty nice looking kit. It should be viable. Nice ergo and the recoil is good because the basic stock M4 is really good as well and it's not just full auto it's also burst fire burst fire is viable it's pretty decent it's basically with the starting usec kit you have the mp5 with 20 round max go and try burst fire because you're not wasting that much ammunition burst fire pretty decent pretty good especially if you like the mp5 as i do i'm predicting that some weapons like the as val sr2 maybe the ash um, are getting better and better right now with the recoil change but of course we will have the overheating mechanics still in the game so that's a quick reminder why could this be a bad thing right now because right now with this full auto meta kind of meta it is tough sometimes because everybody is full ordering all the time but i'm level 11 right now and so far it's looking decent of course we need a little bit more time and of course we have to see how this develops into the game and also into the meta but right now it seems quite okay it feels a little bit better to play it feels actually nice to loot some weapons and to lo loot some guns but of course we will have a full auto meta but not just full auto is good also semi auto with bad weapons like bad ada bad weapon with uh, 7.6 by 39 it is actually really good to play those weapons right now stock sks pretty pretty decent weapon because the ammunition is really good early wipe especially early wipe so it's looking good so far i'm not a big fan of a full auto meta but right now it feels quite good because you are kind of useful even to guys who are or to or who have better better kit because i like my pistol rounds I like to go with almost nothing into the raid, kill a scaf and, you know, getting some stuff. And it's really rewarding right now. Furthermore, pistols are also a little bit better. Um, I don't think it's that realistic with a stock pistol, but it's still a game, guys. So pistols are also better. Let's see how the Glock or the 5.7 performs 
into Tarkov with this recoil change. So let me know guys, what is your opinion about this kind of Call of Duty meta we have or kind of Call of Duty recoil we have right now. So far I think it's quite good, it's quite interesting to see and I guess um, the more casual players they will have a change, change uh, they will have a change and I think the more casual players they will have a chance right now to to fight the sweaty netty guys. But let's see how it goes. Till next time, bye.